Hello and welcome to this Let's Write uh, video. These are videos about programming. In this video I'm going to be describing a game I wrote a few months ago called uh, Dungeon. Uh, so, um, well, uh, it's written in Turbo Pascal uh, for DOS, but it, it'll also run and uh, compile with Free Pascal for Windows. So here's the source code. Uh, at the top there's a remark. Remarks in Pascal are contained within curly braces. Uh, in the first line it sort of just set, gives them a bit of general information and, and it, it's a text-based RPG which has a random dungeon, hit points, and inventory, merchants, enemies, and money. So, And here's the name of the program, online uh, 6 here just dungeon, that's all it's called. Uh, now there's a type here which uh, is just of an array of uh, byte uh, data types um, and some variables are declared. Uh, the first one here is the array for the dungeon um, and this one is integers the next one is uh, strings they're short strings about 20 characters long uh, and uh, this one actually could have been could have used uh, boolean instead of byte but I just use byte because of, uh, and I'm used to using it so these are procedures down here and all the procedures in a, in a turbo program with a standard Pascal go before the uh, um, the main part of the program um, which uh, begins down here, the body, I should call it, actually. Um, now this right line dungeon, it puts the name of the game onto the screen. Uh, now right line, that writes an entire line, whereas right just writes without uh, having going on to the next line. So with this, this actually makes it the prompt for the read line keyword below it. Um, and... Uh, if if the length of the user was uh, equal to one, then um, it's made into upper case and easy and hard. Uh, have different hit points assigned. Um, the reason I did that was because I thought some people would actually get frustrated if I made the game too hard, and uh, and it might not be challenging enough for people who are used to it. So, um, but anyway. So, if their input was invalid, then the program halts. Um, now let's have a look here. Uh, GP, which is gold pieces, is set to zero. There's a few assignments here, and then it goes to the Make Dungeon. It calls the procedure. So Make Dungeon is up uh, here somewhere. Uh, that's Combat. That's Draw Map. Here's Make Dungeon, and um, Basically, it's it's uh, ten by ten, um, and each squ uh, square on the grid has a number, um, and uh, it randomly puts uh, the numbers in there so that there's a random dungeon. The reason I do that is it creates more gameplay for the user. Like, let's say they've beaten it, they want to try it again, and it'll be a completely different game because the dungeon is random. So, um, and it sort of goes through this stuff here. Uh, you know, there's a Pascal uses four, like uh, I think Basic also uses four, um, and it just goes through this loop here. So, anyway, um, back here after this Make Dungeon, there's Draw Map, which um, draws the map uh, where is it onto the screen and what will appear is a, a 10 by 10 grid with uh, dots because they places the user hasn't been yet or they don't know what's going on in that room and and it, it just marks their position with an asterisk and um, uh, Q 
queue quits, so if the, if the user put in queue, that, that ends the game. And it's sort of... Uh, user set to zero, they get the coordinates, which is the coordinates on the grid. Um, and then there's different uh, things happening for each different type of room. And see, for, for, for example, is uh, combat, because there's three different types of enemies, four, five, and six, but we don't call them four, five, and six in the game, we call them snake, uh, guard, and skeleton, I think. Um, and if if the on the grid it's a seven, then there's a shop. I call it shop, but it's not really a shop. It's just a prisoner that try approaches them and tries to sell them things that improve their chances of finishing the game, giving them a way of leveling up. Um, and if uh, and if they find a room that's marked as nine, that's the way out, which I call the exit. But in the game, I call it way out because it sounds more adventure-y. Um, and that's pretty much the end of the program, but just going up and looking at some of these um, procedures here. Like, here's the one for combat. Um, if it's four, then the enemy is a snake. If it's five, then the enemy is a guard. If it's six, then it's a skeleton. And um, I just included some general code here, which uses the enemy name and the enemy hit points and um, they get attacked by the enemy but um, th that's based on a coin flip basically because it's it's random of two um, and uh, then um, it sort of randomly works out how much damage is dealt um, if any at all, and um, then the enemy, you know, this is, you attack the enemy, and then they they attack you, and that sort of thing, and if they get if the hit points, you know, which is the fancy name for health, reaches zero, then it says, you have been killed, game over, enter quits. Um, yeah, so, or alternatively, they kill the enemy. And every time the enemy an enemy dies, they uh, drop a gold piece, which can be used, exchanged for armor, potions, and weapons, or whatever. Um, and that's the end of that. Uh, there's pretty sparse comments in here, but um, that's because uh, I didn't get around to it, and I'm also doing this voice, uh, this uh, description in the video, so. Um, get coordinates just displays coordinates on the screen, so, I mean, if you pause the video, you can sort of study the code. Um, I won't go into too much detail, because it'll bore some people. But, um, here's the code for, uh, the, what I call in the ga in the code a shop, but it's not, it's, it's actually just a, a fellow prisoner who's trying to sell you something, and they are, you know, do you want to buy, uh, um, and then, uh, one for armor, two for knife, and three for potion, so, uh, if they, if they have enough money, then they can buy the armor, the knife, and the potion, and the potion gives them seven hit points extra, the knife imp uh, deals more damage when they attack people, and the armor um, stops them from getting hurt. Uh, the reason I didn't call it a sword is I sort of thought, well, you know, you, this is like a dungeon crawling game, and it might be a bit um, much to say, you know, you've got a magic sword or something, you know. I, the other thing I was going to call it was a dagger, because, you know, it's just like a little jail anyway. And, um, in a normal room, there's all this code here. Um, you're in a dungeon room, and uh, this stuff here, and that if they want to quit, it ends there. And there's inventory displayed at if they uh, input I. And see, with Pascal, you've got to put everything in these little 
um, you'd call it uh, structured programming with begin and end and uh, semicolons to indicate the end of every instruction so uh, but so um, they get blocked which is uh, I did that to sort of add like an, a maze like element to the game but anyway um, that's the end of that okay so control K and D to exit the editor uh, R to run we'll go for an easy game okay it started out on the upper right hand corner so I'll try to go south south again uh, map west uh, no I don't want to buy anything west again um, I got attacked by a skeleton and uh, he's uh, almost killed me uh, south I don't have enough money for anything so I'm just gonna say no I'll do an inventory I've only got one gold piece so south again another skeleton geez that's bad luck um, south again west map so you can see that I've been working my way across the map there uh, west two gold pieces on the floor inventory I've got six now so west another two pieces uh, right there was a guard there south and I found the way out so you can see that that was a very short game but if the the position the randomly placed exit was in a more it was further away and was tucked away and they didn't happen to run into it the game generally lasts like that one went for about 30 seconds and uh, it can sort of last as long as a half an hour particularly if you're a, uh, a slow you know player um, and uh, that's pretty much that but the, the negative side of what happens there is because it's random and a lot of things in the game are random there's uh, it's it's more sort of to do with strategy rather than uh, skill like with it when you get attacked by an enemy uh, it's kind of like a you know slot machine based on ha whether you've got uh, weapons and armor and how much health you've got and that sort of thing so anyway so I'll just press enter to quit and I'll just show you something quickly um, compiler options com file Q to quit C to compile and it makes an executable that's ones and zeros based on the source code uh, quit and uh, DIR and uh, there's dungeon dot com which is 14k so uh, I thought that was the best I could do you know using only 230 lines of Pascal so okay